Hola todos. Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Kamoa Lab cycling sunglasses. things seem pretty cool. They come straight from Spain and kind of a must have if you're a Fernando Alonso fan. These things have the shield wrap around almost goggle style that a lot of cyclists, the Tour de France, down to roadies that you see on the street are wearing these days. Kind of the new style that everybody has. Um, I've always liked shields and they are pretty comfortable. They have a, kind of a nice profile with hooks around the ears. You, if you watch the Fernando documentary on, on Amazon Prime about Fernando Alonso and his efforts in the Indy 500, Le Mans, and Dakar Rally, you got to see a little glimpse of him talking with his Kamoa people about these very glasses and this exact color and everything, talking about how they uh, have hooks around the ears so they kind of stay on your face even when you're looking down and uh, it was kind of a cool little moment to see him on a Skype call talking about the design of his Kamoa brand sunglasses so kind of a cool thing to see. Here's a quick look at a few pairings with various sets of gear. sunglasses are made of TR90, are polarized, and they have UV 400 protection. things are fairly expensive. Check it out. I'm terminated. I do not understand what you spend your money on. But it's worth getting good sunglasses if you're really into cycling, whether it be mountain biking, road, road cycling, or kind of anything in that arena. Or if you're a, a serious marathon runner or jogger or whatever that is, it's good to have some good sunglasses that are shields that protect your eyes and face and also are pretty comfortable and nice and lightweight and of course have the UV protection and all that good stuff. One thing to make note of real quick is the sunglasses did come to me directly from Spain. So it was about a full month from the time I ordered them off of Kamoa.com to the time they arrived at my house here in Colorado in the United States. So there is a little bit of a delay and I believe that is the case for everything that you would get from Kamoa. They are uh, shipping directly from their, uh, their headquarters in Spain, I believe. So it looked like in the paperwork, there is a distributor in the US that maybe kind of helps them deliver product to US households. But as far as I can tell, Kamoa doesn't have any store online or physical in the US that is helping them sell their product here which is kind of part of what makes them cool. It is a bummer to have to wait a full month to get your product, but it's kind of cool that they are rare and coming directly from Europe. And I believe they come from Madrid is what the paperwork said. I don't typically get stuff sent to me directly from a European company. So it was kind of funny to see this giant research paper packet of, of info on the stuff for the US customs agent. As far as I can tell, that's what this is. A couple receipts in here as well and stuff, but it's kind of just telling the US customs agent that it's sunglasses and not pharmaceuticals, not a weapon. I don't know what all it says, but I was thinking that was maybe part of the delay. It took a full month 
just for the U.S. Customs agent to go through this giant packet of paper. Um, the box itself came in a, a plastic bag, and then, as you can see, it was a little bit damaged from its journey over here, but no big deal. I was a little worried the sunglasses would be damaged as well, but inside, there's a nice hard shell case that the sunglasses are in, so that'll be awesome to have going forward. It's got a nice high quality zipper on it. So yeah, pretty cool to have that. And then inside a couple stickers, the sunglasses comes with always a treat to get some stickers. And then this nice lens cleaner cloth bag that the sunglasses are actually in. I think it says made from recycled pet material, which I don't know about you, but that is a little disturbing, but oh well, I'm over, I'm willing to uh, overlook that, I guess. And then inside the cloth bag, the sunglasses themselves. So that's what you get inside the, the packaging. Pretty cool. All right, people. I think that'll about do it for my overview of these Kamoa Lab cycling sunglasses. I'm liking them so far. They're nice and comfortable. No complaints, no pressure points. So if you think these are cool too and kind of have your eye on them, I'd say go out and get them. Or don't, pal. Think I care? <laughs>